Howdy y'all, my name is Brent Hefferton, Mist Trainer, Tom War the Mist Trainer Trap, and today I wanted to talk to y'all about Warrior Consumes. One of the things that I noticed when I was running on my alt shaman was that some warriors are going into the field of battle as a tank and they are not even using consumes. Maybe some people don't know what consumes you're meant to bring, or they don't understand the importance of the consumes. So I just wanted to give you all a quick rundown of the different options you have and the burden and expectation you have as being a tank, the first person in line in the field of battle between the boss and the team. If you look at my stats here, I've got 16.7k armor. I'm pretty geared at this point in the game, but let's just say, for example, I was a warrior who was in like pre bis or worse, and I'm trying to tank this heroic. If I just go in there with no consumes, that brings dishonor upon all my Torn ancestors and they get rather upset. And it also increases the chances that I die and thus everyone else will die. So what do you do? The first thing is you need to have a shit whack of Iron Shield potions. What I do whenever I'm taking a Karazhan is I have at least 20 of these, ideally maybe 30. They last for 2 minutes and they give you 2,500 armor. As a reference, that's basically half a shield worth of armor, which is a shitload. So that's your potion, that's your main consume that you're popping during the fights. What are the ones that you put on that last for a while? You've got Elixir of Major Agility. This is going to be your best battle elixir. 35 Agility. Agility gives you dodge. It gives you armor. It gives you crit. And in addition, you also get 20 crit. So this elixir has a shit ton of threat on it and it gives you some mitigation stats as well we also got a lecture of major defense 550 armor that's like a tenth of a shield or something i don't know all the math yeah something like that so you got another bit of a shield 550 armor let's get a comparison that's like a wrist piece so you're equipping an extra wrist piece and then if I look at my armor, I'm going to get more armor from this elixir of agility, a bit of it, and then more dodge and all this stuff. And then also, you get a food buff. Kicking Chimera Chops, you get Stam. There's all kinds of Stam food out there. 20 Stam Clam Bar. So you get a Guardian Elixir to make you tough. You get a Battle Elixir to give you threat and help you zug. And then you get a food buff to give you that additional edge on the battlefield. Another thing you can do, if you're a tank on a budget, is to get a flask of fortification. Gives you 500 max health defense rating by 10 for 2 hours. That's amazing. Let's see all these things at work. I'm just gonna go in here. You can't use a flask in these two consume, so you basically choose between these two or the flask. And let's just go in here and rock and roll. Give it a test. I charge, defensive stance, shield slam. Start off the pull strong. We got a warrior, he's doing the battle shot, I'm gonna do the commanding shot. I'm gonna war stomp. Torrens love to war stomp. It's one of our best moves. I'm revenging, I'm heroic striking, I'm devastating. We got threat for days. There's a warrior in the party. I'm barely keeping up with threat. Let me get over here, get this off my healer. Get off my healer. I got last stand for days. I got an intimidating shout. You can't kill me. I got iron shield potion. Look at this armor. I've got so much armor. I mean, yeah, maybe the party's gonna die. But who cares? I got shield wall. They called him run half a ton mister and I told more the mister in the tribe. I'm about to slap a dapo. I got shield wall up for a couple of the seconds. You tanky as hell. I can spell reflect this. See that? That's how tough we can be. Well, I hope y'all find <laughs> hope y'all find this kind useful. We're supposed to kill the ants in first phase. I have no idea why they didn't kill the ants. I just got invited into this party. But anyways. If you're going to be tanking, you should take the job seriously. If you want to go light on the consumes, maybe play retail, I don't know. But it's a big part of your power level. And back in the day, we used to have to get all kinds of potions. We would have so many buffs 
that I had to get an add-on that made sure I didn't have too many buffs. They made it way easier on you in Burning Crusade Classic. All you gotta do is get a battle elixir, a guardian elixir, and a food buff. That's it. If you get those three, oh, and a potion, so you have to spam. That's the four things. This is a four step process to getting the most out of your experience as a tank and taking your job seriously. Get your elixir major defense. Come on, get like 20 of them for a raid. It's a nice, just one stack, bring those. Bring one stack of these. Get some stack of food, maybe two stacks. And then get 20 to 30 iron shield potions. You're going to be way stronger. That's like putting on a bunch of extra pieces of armor. It's crazy how powerful that is. Do you want to see me fight it again? We'll try again. Don't want to feel left out. I'm watching this tutorial and just seeing a splat. We'll try again. That's great. Let's do this. We can do this. They're saying the hunter can't speak English, so they don't know what speak ads or kill the ads means. Okay, let's practice it again. What do you need to be a strong tank? You need a food buff. You need to have a meal before the battlefield. Having a battle, it burns a lot of calories. You need to make sure you're well fed. Look at this. 25 stamina. That's crazy. In addition, a bracer worth of armor in this major armor elixir. In addition... 35 agility and 20 critical strike rating for Pete's sakes. This is out of control strong. I can't believe they even allow this to consume. And then the iron shield potion. This is the potion. If you're struggling against these bosses, I'll tell you. Karazan here. This guy, Prince Malkazar, he's at the top there. He has that phase two double axes. If you're a tank and you're just getting blapped and slapped, and you don't have an Iron Shield Potion, that is your problem. You should have Iron Shield Potion up every time you tank that boss. I still do it now even though I'm overgeared for it. Just out of principle. Just to give my team the best chance that I can. Who else? Nightbane? Maybe the toughest boss to tank in this phase. Tougher than Magtheridon and shit. You need an Iron Shield Potion every time. You need this. Or you need this. Flask of Fortification. Jeez Louise, I'm seeing these tanks without their iron shield potions and it's just breaking my heart. Because I know that the raid behind them is they're just going to get run over. Like a small blade of grass and a huge Kodo herd just trampling over it. Alright, we got this time. Do we have a shaman? We have a paladin? Jeez. Okay, let's get a King's Defender on. Let's just mix it up. Okay, we're going in. We got it this time. Charge, defensive stance, shield, slam. The Raging Bull Opener, misdirect is on me. Revenge, devastate, shield block. He summons the elementals, kill the ads for Pete's sake. I already made a guide on this, but they don't know that you're supposed to kill the ads. Killed one of them. Let's get that iron shield potion on. Chain lightning, I'm gonna pull this away so it doesn't chain to other people. Look at that, now the ants are gone. And then they feared those, that's great. Now we're dealing damage to the boss. I'm gonna try to pull this away so it doesn't chain. It's still chain, but we tried. And that's what matters. I'm gonna intervene into an intimidating shout. I'm getting the stuff off the boss, and now we killed the boss. Was it scuffed? Yes. This fight was a hot mess, but we got it done. 
and you see how close this fight was, if we didn't have the consumes, we all would have died horribly. That's important. So this was your public service announcement. Get your consumes. If you're a tank, come on. It's a little bit expensive, but it's way less expensive in vanilla. And if you need to save a little bit of money, make friends with an alchemist. There are a lot of alchemists out there. This recipe, every alchemist should know it. This recipe, all they need is honored with honor hold or thralmar, whether they're horde or alliance. This one, the recipe drops in old Hillsbrad off the last boss. It's a bit of a low drop, but it's, it's a thing. You can get it. I don't have this one on my shaman. I leveled a shaman, and her job is to be the alchemist, but she did get level 70, and she's been healing a little bit. You can also get this flask. This one is randomly discovered by alchemists when they craft stuff, so a bit of RNG, but a lot of people know how to do it. So if you want to save some costs, look up the mats, get an alchemist, get him the mats, and give him a little gold tip. You can still save money and still give him a tip. Hope you all find this guide useful. Get your goddamn consumes for Pete's sake. I'm sick and tired of seeing tanks trying to tank Prince Malchazar just getting blapped like a pancake on the ground. Ancestors watch over you.